Hello my lovely humans, welcome to Starlight and Stitches. Thank you so, so much for joining me here today. If you like crochet and crafting, crochet book reviews, yarn hauls, end of the month finished project videos, all sorts of lovely crafty goodness, hit subscribe and join my subscribers because my subscribers are the best. Now listen, today I have got the easiest crochet tutorial for you ever, ever, ever. This is a wonderfully quick project, very good for beginners. Um, great for gifting um, you can make a bunch of these and take them to craft fairs they are so so easy to make we are looking at making crochet scrunchies now please do um <laughs> excuse the fact some of the scrunchies that i have bought here to show you they do get used i have a nine-year-old daughter she loves a scrunchie so there may be a hair or two in these but these are some of the ones that i have made previously um the good thing with making scrunchies is that you can use any yarn at all. Um, there's several different ways of doing them. I'm gonna show you the way that I like to do them um, and you can follow along. Like I say, really quick, really easy. So the only things that you are going to need is some basic hair ties like these. I prefer the slightly thicker ones because they've got a bit more oomph to them. Um, and I also prefer the ones that do not have the metal band. If you can't find ones without the metal band on them, that's absolutely fine. They are still perfectly usable. So we need one of these, a crochet hook and some yarn. Easy peasy. Um, just make sure that you are matching your crochet hook up to the yarn that you are using. Um, you can use thick, really thick yarn. You can use a medium weight. You can use a really fine weight yarn if you like, but just make sure you're using an appropriate hook size for the yarn that you will be using. We're gonna get going straight away. This is really simple. First off, you wanna do a slip knot onto your hook. And then all we're gonna do is we are gonna single crochet, this is in US terms, by the way, because that's how I roll. We are gonna single crochet all the way around this band. So we're gonna put our hook under there and then single crochet over the top of the band, like so. So under the band, bring the yarn up and over and single crochet. And we're gonna do that all the way around. Nice and easy. So my one of my top tips when making these is don't do your single crochets too tight. So um, obviously you don't want them just like flapping around, but don't do them too tight. And also don't push them up too much around the band. Um, just keep them nice and free and easy. Now, what I do next, after that band is covered, I'm just gonna slip stitch into back into that first single crochet. So then we have this nice single crocheted loop here. You can, if you just want some pretty crocheted headbands, you can just leave it like this. Um, and then you've got a crocheted hairband that you can, you know, wrap around your ponytails or your bunches or whatever. But we want a bit more floof in our scrunchies because that is what we are making today. So, how I get my floof on my scrunchies. To start, I'm gonna chain two, one, two. And then in each of my single crochets, in each one around, I'm gonna put three double crochets. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna treat that chain two as a double crochet. And I'm gonna go back into the same space and I'm gonna do another double crochet. And then I'm gonna go back into the same space again and do another double crochet. So I now have three double crochets to that one single crochet space. And we're gonna do the same in the next one. So double crochet, we're gonna yarn over, in through there, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one. And another one. And another one. And we're gonna continue doing this all the way around. So in every single single crochet, you are gonna put three double crochets. It's really, really lovely and simple. Yay! 
you will start to see quite early on that your edges are getting this kind of waviness to them. And that's obviously because you are stuffing more stitches into a smaller space. So that's kind of how we get the, what I call the floofiness for our scrunchies. If you want a super duper over the top, really, really floofy scrunchie, you can put more than three into one space. You could go for four. Um, I go for three because that's just how I like them. And I'll just keep going round and I will meet you at the other end. So we are just on the last stitch, one, two, and three. And then all we're going to do is we're going to join that with a slip stitch to the top of that chain two that we did right at the beginning, like that. So again, you have a full circle of double crochets. Now again, if you wish, you can finish this here. Um, this would be a smaller scrunchie. Um, I do like to do one more step when I am doing my scrunchies and I like to do a single crochet in the top row. Um, this extra single crochet row works really well if you've maybe got a pattern um, and you maybe could do a single colour along the top. So you could change your yarn if you want to and go and do a single colour. Now this one worked out quite well because it was a, a variegated yarn, um, but the single crochet row at the top just kind of gives it this really nice finish. So you don't have to do this step, but I do like to do this step. So again, from this point here, I'm gonna chain one, and then I'm just going to single crochet in the top of every single double crochet stitch. So again, I will keep going with that and I will meet you at the other end. So we are just on the home straight now, just finishing off the last of the single crochet row around just to finish off that edge there in the last one there we go and then again I am just going to slip stitch into the first chain so that is done so what you need to do then just snip that off at the end pull that straight through from your slip stitch and then take one of these bad boys and we're just going to weave in the ends just to tidy it up. If you have a single colour or if you have um, a variegated yarn or a self-striping yarn that you're using, it doesn't really matter. Um, just weave it in so that the end is nice and secure basically. So you just wanna do it enough to make sure that it is secure. I am a bit weird with my weaving in. <laughs> I tend to sort of go a little bit here, there and everywhere. Um, but again, it doesn't really matter as long as it is nice and secure. That was a really terrible angle, I'm so sorry. So I'm gonna go in and out here. Normally, I don't know why I didn't do it. Normally I would crochet over that end. <laughs> that was my end from the beginning. I'd normally crochet over that, but um, I have not today for some particular reason. But again, I can just weave that in. Do, 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 do. Once your ends are weaved in, snip off any excess and then we are done. So one super easy crocheted scrunchie like I say use any yarn you like any colors any weights this one is like a super thick 
This is Party Time Chunky by James C. Bray, and there was a bunch that I had left over. So that one is super thick and chunky. Um, this one is sort of done in my daughter's school colours. Now this one has got a really wavy edge because I did two single crochets for every double. So this one, the edge is a little more, a um, little more wavy, as you can see. Um, but like I say, you can do these in no time. It is a great beginner project. It's great for craft fairs. Um, look at all that beautiful loveliness. So that is it. Crocheted scrunchies, nice and easy. Any questions at all, just drop me a line in the box down below. You can change these up however you want. Um, you do not have to do a single crochet row first. You can go straight in with a double crochet. Um, if you would prefer to do that, you can do a triple crochet. You don't have to do a single crochet edge. If you want a massive one, you could do a double crochet and then another double crochet, whatever you like. But once you've got the basics down, you are all set to go. Great. So look after yourselves, look after your loved ones, enjoy making some scrunchies and I will see you next time.